This is the fourth web talk in the M Plus web talk series. It is a companion piece to a new paper by Tihomer Asparohov and me. The paper describes new statistical techniques as well as new M Plus language. A major feature concerns analysis of longitudinal data, often called panel data, using cross lag modeling of two processes influencing each other. And this is the topic of this web talk. The web talk has two parts. Part one describes the analysis of continuous variables. Part two focuses on binary and ordinal categorical variables. The categorical case is a more complex topic drawing on several different model types. A detailed description is given of how to analyze categorical variables using the popular RICLPM model. In both parts of Web Talk 4, many different M plus scripts and data sets are presented together with a discussion of the results. Turning to slide 2, this is the overview, and here we have the paper that I was referring to, which coins a new phrase, uh, Residual Structural Equation Modeling, RSM, which is a new feature in the uh, new M plus version 8.7, and it has special applications to panel data analysis. I'm going to start with talking through some basic multi-level and longitudinal concepts to get a framework within which we, uh, we will discuss different kinds of panel data models. And then I'll introduce the new residual language in M and show how that can be used in applications to depression and self-esteem using two different data sets. First, starting off with univariate analysis that I suggest that one does for each process before putting them together. And we can explore many of those models that we mentioned in bullet three for the univariate analysis already. And then we turn to the bivariate analysis and you take a close look at the uh, cross lag modeling. And as I mentioned, part two is a later web talk part 